Well, this just gets weirder and weirder the more details we find out about Jeffrey Epstein. You know, and we've got this document dump that's coming up sometime soon, which are these 2,000 pages of documents that are supposed to be released and is supposed to potentially show some of his, you know, high-level contacts, and we'll just see what else it shows. Does it show them being compromised in some uh, provable way? But as I was out surfing about and looking at the Epstein stuff, and there are so many different angles you could look at with respect to this story, I came across an interview with a guy who apparently got to know Epstein decades ago and very quickly decided he didn't really care for the guy and discontinued his involvement with Epstein. But then Epstein kind of turned a little stalkerish on the guy. Mm -hmm. And this guy was a writer, kind of a well-known writer, particularly at the time, for the New Yorker magazine and also the New York Times. But I really thought some of his phrasing was very interesting because he connects a lot of what Jeffrey Epstein is doing and particularly the type of people that he's meeting and getting associated with to Harvard University. And I just found that fascinating that he's making that connection that basically Hmm. Epstein was trolling Harvard for pedophiles. Mm. He doesn't say it just that way, but... But listen to this, what he has to say about it. And this guy, you you ought to go out and check out his story because, I mean, apparently Epstein tried to proposition this guy's fiance the day before their wedding and some other things. So there was a very kind of strange personal interaction between these two guys. And this author, Jesse Kornbluth, basically didn't want to have anything to do with Epstein after he got to know him just a very little bit. But listen to what he had to say. And it's the Harvard thing that is the key to this particular story. Epstein was obsessed with Harvard. You can see photos with him in Harvard sweatshirts. He gave Harvard a lot of money. He courted Harvard scientists. And in some ways, one of the tragedies of Epstein is he was, you know, a poor kid, didn't graduate from college. He was the little match boy, and he was desperate, desperate to be inside the elite. And the way he found to do that was by dealing with the sexual peculiarities of very important rich people and compromising them. There is no proof that Jeffrey invested a single dollar for anybody, maybe Leslie Wexner. But I think the trove of stuff that came out of his townhouse might contain the kinds of material that important people would not like to have publicized. And if Epstein raised money by informing those people that he had that stuff, then they might invest in his funds. That is the theory I find most palatable to explain how Epstein has a single dollar. Wow. Mm. I mean, that's a pretty powerful statement. This guy, by the way, this guy is a liberal. This guy's no conservative activist. He's a liberal who just happened to know Jeffrey Epstein and best he could put together. I mean, I don't know if you caught what he was really saying there, but he thinks maybe Epstein's money's come from all these blackmail operations that he's been running on these high power, high level, powerful people that is best anybody on Wall Street can figure out. Jeffrey Epstein's never invested a dollar of money for anybody. Kind of like Bernie Madoff. Remember, Bernie Madoff had never actually invested any money. And a lot of people on Wall Street knew about that while he was fleecing investors in a Ponzi scheme. And remember, a Ponzi scheme is where you take the new money that new investors are giving you and you use that to pay back the old investors when the old investors come forward and say, hey, we want to get our money out of this deal now. So you pay them with the new money. And to everybody, it seems like, wow, this deal's working. This is a great deal. But it's not. The whole thing's corrupt from the beginning. It'll never work. You're spending the investment money just to pay people back. So there is no money there. Uh, And, you know, it's a wonder if that's what was going on to some degree with Jeffrey Epstein. We'll have to wait to find out more because we're not in a position to be able to get to that kind of information right now. Thank you for listening to The Morgan Streetman Show. We hope you enjoyed what you heard. And if you did, please click like and subscribe to help us out. And remember that we recommend that you exercise your brain at least once a week.